So sometimes you're not going to use 3.14 for pi. They will literally tell you use 22 divided by 7. So when do you when do you use 22 divided by 7? When they tell you. And if they tell you to use 3.14, use 3.14. So it goes back to the age-old lesson you learned in kindergarten. Look at the directions. So uh, here's the same formula. A equals pi times the radius squared, or radius to the second power. We are told in the directions to use 22 divided by 7 for pi. So let's just go and substitute that in right there. Now, we still need to times it by the radius, and the radius over here is 11, so we'll say times it by 11, and the radius is still going to be raised to the second power. So the only thing that's really different is that we are using 3.14, or instead of using 3.14, we're using 22 divided by 7. You know how to type in 22 divided by 7 as a fraction of a calculator, times it by 11 to the second power, and you'll get a really big improper fraction. So just take this improper fraction and stick it into your calculator and just say 2,662 divided by 7 so you can get the decimal version. Okay, so this is like not rounded, but when it says rounds and there's hundreds, we need decimals if, if there's a fraction. So um, we get that, and then we have to round to the nearest hundredth. So where's your hundredths? It's 8 right here. It's the second spot. 2 is the tenths, 8 is the hundredths, 5 is the thousandths. Look to the right of it. And that tells us that we we're going to make that um, into 29. So not 0.3. That would be rounding to the nearest tenth. Instead, we're going to make it into 380.29. Uh, Don't forget that we're working in feet, so it needs to be feet squared. And there's your answer for the question. Now, what do you do if they give you the diameter? Well, same thing we've done before. You need to half it. So the radius is half. 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. We've got all the information we need. Let's go to the formula. They told us to use 22 divided by 7 for pi. So there that is. Times it by the radius. Don't forget to raise the radius to the second power. Type it into your calculator, and in this case, it went ahead and gave us the decimal right here, so we don't have to go any further. And it does say, and this one is a little bit different, it says round to the nearest tenth. So here's your tenths. Look to the right of it. There's an eight there, so that will make that seven go to an eight. And this will be 132.8. We're using centimeters, so it will be centimeters squared. There's your answer. You found the area of the circle.